Today we're making a DIY rustic flag. It's perfect for indoors, outdoors, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Here are the materials you'll need for this project. Before we start our project, if you got long hair, I do recommend that you put it up because you don't want your hair getting caught in your wood tools. In your tools. In your tools. Wood tools? <laughs> So to start, what we're gonna be doing is I've already pre-cut my rough pine board into eight pieces. That's one by six by two feet. And I have my smooth pine board, which is a half inch by six inch by four. I wanna determine which way my boards are going to be. It's all aesthetic and it's really all personal preference. The next thing to do is I'm gonna actually flip them over in the order that I want them to go in. Is I'm gonna take my two pine boards and I'm gonna line them up at the top and the bottom. This is what's gonna be your frame. So using a Robertson drill bit, I'm gonna be taking a one and a half inch wood screw and I'm gonna be screwing these bad boys in. This part doesn't need to look beautiful because you're never gonna see it. It just needs to hold the board. She's beautiful! <laughs> Let's paint this bad boy. What I'm gonna be doing is a dry brush technique. I'm actually going to stick the brush just the tip and I'm going to remove a lot of the excess onto this plate. And then you're just gonna start to dry brush it on. And this is what's really gonna give it that weathered look. This is a crimson red. It's beautiful. Ah, bees! <laughs> This looks sexy. Are we allowed to call a project sexy? Because no. I am. I'm gonna call it sexy. Let's start our white section. Oh, Canada. We're all done painting. I'm gonna set this side, let it dry, and we're gonna move on to our maple leaf. I'm using a stencil that I've created. You can also find the stencil on the Coral blog. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Coral. I'm taking my birch plywood sheet line it up on the edge and this way when you're going to cut it with your jigsaw it makes your life a lot easier. I'm just going to trace out my leaf. Ta-da! Maple leaf. I'm going to drill with a half inch drill bit and I'm going to create holes on all the little points of our flag. Okay so my holes are cut so now I'm ready to use my jigsaw Make sure your project is clamped down if you're doing this alone. Let's start. And here's a perfect example as to why I drilled a hole in the corners because now it's created my rounded edge so I can just start forward. Oh yeah, eh? <laughs> Gonna just sand it down a little, especially around the edges. It's time to paint it. Once again, I'm gonna do our dry brush technique. Oh, this looks so good. Let's let that dry. It's not gonna take too long. Oh my God. It's like literally dry. <laughs> Thank you, sun. But, oh my gosh, it's like practically dry. Okay, let's just give that a hot two seconds. <laughs> then I think we'll be ready to put it onto our board. Our board is back. Our flag is done. She's gonna go on there. Oh, doesn't she look good? We still have one step before we attach our maple leaf and that is to sand this baby down. Let's get going. I'm gonna use a 80 grit sandpaper on my palm sander and what that's gonna do, it's gonna start to lift up some of this paint and really smooth out the board. If you're unsure how to use a palm sander, Justin does a great how-to walkthrough and I've linked it in the description box below. So let's start. You wanna make sure that you're going with the grain of the wood and here we go. And now it looks like it's been sitting in a barn for a hundred years and you made it all yourself. We're just going to line this up right in the center there. How awesome does this look? I've clamped the leaf and what I'm gonna do is drive screws in underneath to hold it together. Okay, and there you go. Your very own DIY weathered Canadian flag. Sorry the video's over, but subscribe for more. I'll see you next week. Oh, Canada.